In this video I want to look at price patterns. We've already looked at price patterns in a previous video but I want to go into slightly more depth and give you the official names of some of the patterns that are created by price. The first pattern we're going to look at is what is referred to as a head and shoulders pattern. This pattern looks something similar to this. We have a push on the upside, a pullback, another push, a pullback, a minor push, and then a pullback. The reason it gets the name head and shoulders is quite obvious. We have the head of the pattern and the two shoulders. And up here mid-June we have a typical head and shoulders pattern price comes up it pulls back it pushes it pulls back goes for a minor push and then pulls back so what's so significant about a head and shoulders pattern well just like in this example head and shoulders can be a signal of directional change in price. So as price has been uptrending, we get this head and shoulders pattern and price then downtrends. Now how does that work? Why do we go from an uptrend to a downtrend? Well quite simply a head and shoulders pattern can be the mark of a lower low, a lower high, and then a push to the downside. These three things, the characteristics of a downtrend. So we have a push, a pullback, a push. So so far we just look like a, a typical uptrend. The first characteristic of this head and shoulders is this pullback down to a similar level as the previous pullback. We then have this minor push, which is generally a similar level to this push here. And then we fall on the downside. Now head and shoulders can be at the bottom of a downtrend and mark the start of an uptrend. And that's generally referred to as an inverted head and shoulders. And we'll look something like this. We have our pullback, our push, our pullback, similar to the level of the previous pullback, we then have a push to the similar level of two push previous, and then we go on the upside. If we go to a weekly chart, I can show you another quite typical head and shoulders pattern, which is here. We have a push pull back, push, pull back, push, pull back and we go on the downside. Now how can we identify head and shoulders as early as possible? Well it's the the end of this pull back that is the real first signal of a head and shoulders. We have a pull back that's at a similar level or goes below the previous pullback. And that's a signal first of all that a trend could be over the a trend could be weakening. So that's a head and shoulders and an inverted head and shoulders. If we go back to our four hourly chart and the pound against the dollar, I now want to look at a double top or a double bottom. Now how a double top or double bottom works is price pushes, it pulls back, it goes for another push and because of resistance in the market or for other reasons, price cannot push any higher and pulls back, creates a lower low and goes on the downside. A double bottom same sort of thing, we have a push down, we have a pullback, we go for another push but just can't make it, we can't create a lower low, then price goes on the upside. 
and we have a typical double bottom at the end of this downtrend and the start of this uptrend. Price is downtrending. We have a push, a pullback, a push, can't really make a lower low, and then price goes on the upside. So here's our double bottom. If we go to a weekly chart, we have quite a clear double top. Price pushes, pulls back, pushes again. Can't create a, a higher high, and then price pulls back. So what's an early signal of a double top or double bottom? Quite simply, it's rejection against the previous push. So this level here, you'll see we have a doji and then a big pin bar. The price has been rejected twice. We can't get any higher in price depreciates. This is soon followed by a double bottom. We have a push, a pullback and a push and go on the upside. So just like a head and shoulders, a double top and double bottom can mark the end of a trend and start of a trend in the opposite direction. In the next video we will continue this demonstration of patterns created by price in financial markets.